Hey guys, Crew Blonde Wave, I'm Eric. I'm Calvin. Aaron. And we're back with Rick and Morty, last time on Space Sperm, a giant <laughs> egg and consequences. Yep. Did you see that Go, uh, Pokemon Go Fest had a giant egg in Chicago and everybody was like, no, it's like Rick and Morty. Launch into space. <laughs> no, I didn't see that. Oh, yeah, that's great. Um, we had a, I feel like we had a chance. We could have been like, sperm in space. space. We didn't do we it. could have. We oh, didn't. Yeah. Missed opportunity. <laughs> dropped it. Um, <clears throat> we had a poll last time. Which would you rather have? And I also had a subtitle that Rick and Morty polls are hard. Um, so which would you rather have? Oh, my God. Horse baby? Orbiting incest baby? And I put a third option in here. Why are you always like, adding in shit? The fuck is this poll? He's always adding shit in. Ten percent of people said orbiting incest baby. I wonder what one. Twenty percent said horse baby. Seventy percent said the fuck is this poll? I think you, you've ruined, you've tainted our results, Eric. Now. Oh, okay, yeah. Things you've have definitely given them a, a, a false yeah option. Number one, you've added a third object yep. or option here that mm -hmm. has... Now, now we don't have an accurate reading of what people would rather have. True. Two, yep. we now know that there's 30% of our viewers that are just crazy yeah. as they would choose one of these two options yeah. versus that third option. Which I feel is like a more valuable statistic than the arbitrary choice we gotta do something about of these 30%. a binary thing. I know, we do. We really do. Uh, let's look at the... Uh, I didn't want to know problems. they existed. You now you know. <laughs> <laughs> Nick Matic says, best poll yet. Uh, Reese Rice says, this is what I have to look forward to when I get off work. Yeah, something. Master Chong says, uh, what? I wonder if some of these people saw this before they watched the episode. Maybe. <laughs> uh, Dip says, is it possible to have an orbiting horse incest baby? Um, I guess if you try really hard. Huh. No, no, you can't have an incest horse baby. You would have to already be related to said horse. Yeah, but the two horses could be related. But, oh, damn. Well, okay. Anthea Grant says, my official <laughs> answer to, is no to everything. But I can't vote in this poll, then. It is impossible for me to answer that as an answer, because I can't. I have to already be related to said horse to then have incest horse. Right? Jamie O'Brien says, what have we become? Uh, what are we? Adam A. says, easy, incest baby, because one day it will become an incest man that for some reason can survive in space. I mean, it might, it might be cool. Yeah. But, it's, but it's also giant. He's also really big, and maybe he'll be like a superhero protecting the Earth from space. Sea Devil Super says, villain. sweet home Alabama. <laughs> he ate that astronaut. What? You're so gross. You have to like it or you're sexist. <laughs> what? Because Rick does it in last time. Sure, pal. <laughs> oh, no, we're gonna Cinnabites or something? D &D ah, shit. Oh, it Jeez. is! Exquisite finery this evening. Well, don't oh. tell Ross, but I got this little ditty from Cole. Oh. <laughs> I love that I don't get it. Are you having a bad time? Because to us, a bad time Yeah, is... yeah, a good time, because you guys are like Oscar the f***ing Grouch. We love That guy's just got pinned. Therefore, pinhead. we love hanging out with Jerry. I don't think I like that guy. I think I just realized what he is. The one guy is based on a Cenobite from Hellraiser 3, where he literally gets a camera shoved in his face. Really? Yeah. And like, he can be like, smile. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> he really does. Then the other one, yeah, is a pinhead. I like that. Like an I actual, like, writing pen head. Yeah. I don't like the one guy, though. I'm pretty sure it's just a whole bunch of, like, syringes st st stabbed yep. up into his it face. It is. I, I like love him. him. So if he tries to crack his neck, he's getting an injection. <laughs> All right. You look cool for Bruce. Bruce, shit back. <laughs> Newest kid in school. Just transferred in. Hasn't done anything embarrassing yet. Unlimited potential. Anybody's gas. No credit is perfect. Uh-uh, uh-uh. I said don't touch my shit. Also, I just watched Jurassic Park. That's insane. Touch my shit and I'll freeze your dick in amber. He left. Son of a bitch, we blew it. Keys, so, uh, let's do this. You are not Rick. That's correct, Car. It's me, Summer. Remember, keep Summer safe, but yeah, yeah. I am keep summer aware safe. of your existence. Rick's in trouble. Tell me where he is. 
and you'll just believe us? We aren't Rick. You can't just do what we say. Correct. Which means Rick is going to die because of you, unless you, you go offline, and, and then, then we can go save Rick. This computes. Good night. <laughs> 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 Oh, they're the karaoke. Yeah. Who karaoke this song? <laughs> the mailbox is off! That makes sense. They actually did it! They went to a galaxy with. Oh, what are they doing? vacation! Man, Bruce is not impressed. He's a fork in his eye one that the guy had. Enjoying punching down? You're not so cool yourself, you know. You have pens in your head, you look like a goddamn idiot. <laughs> oh my god, your best. Please drink with us. Yeah, I would, except I don't get pleasure from mocking others because I'm not lame. We know. Mick says you're very cool. You said that? Are they lying? Essence of hell. Well, that's a stupid name, but it's really good, so I'll stay to support Jerry, who I think is cooler than you. Mm. God damn. Is your mouth like in the I don't understand. I wonder what that tastes like. Essence of hell? Hey, Bruce was smart. It's pod racers! The butts! Ah! Oh. Oh, that was a pod racer, you're right. Do you want to bet I can blow stuff up in the shape of a bean? <laughs> oh my god. Galactus! Galactus, yeah. What is joyful about this? The kill, usually. Reaper. Too small. You wanna go, brah? Oh, Is that all you got? Oh. Hot weapons. You're goddamn right, that oh, no. oh no. Maybe come by Space Tahoe and we can get to know each other. Space Tahoe. <laughs> Do you think the ship is gonna get lighter and yeah, definitely. Change former. What? That means you don't have feelings. Why can't you pretend to be a robot pretending to be a car? Okay, Bruce, good effort. Hit the showers. Wait, I might not have to tell Rick about tonight if you kids were to help me lose my oh, virginity. Oh, man, yeah. You have virginity? I don't know. Don't all objects? Isn't a doorknob a virgin? Not mine. <laughs> Never f***ed a doorknob. <laughs> <laughs> How's that Tina Turner song you love go again? What's love, Dr. Do, Dr. Doolittle? <laughs> <laughs> he thinks those are the lyrics. Jerry's the best. His delicious lack of awareness paired with an oafish need to be liked, delectable. Oh, especially when egged on by his wife. That poor thing, <laughs> married to this puling moon calf. Ha ha ha. Ha ha ha. Cringe is like a, a snack for them, right? I guess, yeah. Oh, sorry. Your expressionless head came off. Sorry. Expressionless head came off. What is it, you, dude? <laughs> You're right, asshole. Uh -oh. You want to see the real me? Oh! I love you for being lame in a different way. Why can't anyone just love me for me? He's bumming us out, Rick. If he can't deliver, we'll have to make our own fun. Uh oh. Ah, Where'd those guys come from? There's like the other ones. <sighs> a pity. Jerry was once a wellspring of nuanced flavor, <laughs> but you've gone and ruined our toy, which is why he's coming with Get us. Get it blinked. God damn it, Beth. You never follow hell demons to a second location. It's always hell. Mmm, Marlin Guts, Dartboard Face. I assume those are your names, and yet they are not on my list. Oh, the pain of being rejected from hell. Oh, it's painful. So I love it. Thank you. Oh, such pleasure. Oh, I didn't mean to cause you any pleasure. Yeah, go on in. Coat hanger head. I feel like he lets everyone in. <laughs> Beth, you love me after all. Uh, I love her. She loves you. Those credits don't transfer. Oh, Rick, we were so hoping you'd come Who's down this? here so we could. You think Jerry is lame and you're cool, but the lamest thing of all is thinking that. 
two of you could That's what really gave them. This is what we call the lamest thing ever. No. Yes. <laughs> See, cringe cannot exist in a vacuum. It needs to be absurd. Yeah. Uh, skin mm -hmm. hooks hook our guests. Ah, oh, and the skin hooks. Nice hooks. Oh, wait. Where, where'd you get them? Because <laughs> <laughs> he's holding them. He's skin hooks. He's holding them. I forgot. Pain equals pleasure. More pleasure. More pain. What do you do? Hey, a dad just liked all his daughter's friends' photos on Instagram. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> Which means I need help. Which means I don't need help. Is that how it works? <laughs> Is that how it works? <laughs> Damn. I mean, blowing the place up was always an option. I just thought you guys might enjoy a less violent plan. See? You have changed. You have changed. <laughs> what? What? Is this a space station? This is less violent. With the Jadoon on it? It's the space police. <laughs> I shouldn't have kept you in the dark about the deal I made with these evil dickweeds. You're way less cool than me, but it's not cool of me to celebrate that. If I'm genuinely cool, I should be able to love you, which I therefore do. Nerds. <laughs> that was sincere. Oh, thank God. Mouse trip. I do not enjoy hell. What, what have you done? Turn pain back into pain, bitch. No, I don't want pain to hurt. <laughs> Baby. <laughs> Consider my debt paid. Jerry, uh, about down there. It's okay, Rick. You don't have to say it. No, I do. I'll replace you next time. Make no mistake, what just transpired will never happen again. Ten four, Captain. Hey guys, we're home. How was your night? Hey. Crazy. You guys get in any trouble? Nope. You sure? Yep. Is that a skull? No, it's a baby skull. That's worse. It's still a skull. <laughs> <laughs> it's a skull. <laughs> Yo, I just want to tell you guys, I had more than just fun hanging out with you tonight. I had the experience of a lifetime. Wait, didn't you wear those pants yesterday? Hey, going home to not change your pants? Bruce shut pants. Oh. Oh. Bruce shut pants. A known quantity apparently <laughs> poor. He skips on his pants. He lacks slacks. And lives the facts. Bruce shut pants. Regular guy now. Oh! You like that? <laughs> 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 oh my god. I know Dan Harmon name too. Who's that? Who's Dan Harmon? Huh? Who's Dan Harmon? Isn't he the community guy? I don't created that? I don't know. It sounds familiar too. What are we oh. looking for? Hey, Plus. Look, there's their dog from like episode two. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> Why did you take my balls? <laughs> <laughs> okay. That makes sense. Who's Darren Chris? Darren Chris is. A, uh, he's a Broadway singer. He was on Glee. Oh, Carmen oh. loves him. Music yeah. Meister. Oh, okay. From uh, Duet, girl, right? From the Flash episode. Probably. Yeah. Put a little love in your heart. That guy? Yeah. I don't remember if that's what he sang, but yeah, I think so. Will be a better yeah. place. He's him. Who was he? Was he Chet? I'm a phone. Probably. No, there was him. There was, sing. No, okay. there was him. There was Troy Baker in it. There yeah, was, was uh, the SpongeBob dude, Kenny. Kenny Baker? Right. No. Kenny. The, Kenny what? Kenny. Tom Kenny. Tom Kenny. Tom Kenny Baker. Kenny, Kenny, Kenny Baker. Baker would be crazy. <laughs> <laughs> that would be real crazy. Um, and then there was also um, uh, Mr. T. Mr. T? Right? Who'd he play? No, not, not Mr. T, Mr. T. Mr. T, Arrow. Mr. Terrific. Echo, oh, Echo Kellum. I thought you meant Mr. T. No. Yeah, I thought you meant Mr. T. You can't say Mr. T and not expect me to think of Eric Etzer. Mr. T. Why, Mr. We would recognize Mr. T. What? He lives. He would pity something. He would. Yeah. You, you don't get Mr. T in as a voice actor. Pity is a part of cringe. Pity something. Yeah. <laughs> pity the fool singing the song. Yeah. <laughs> what was the? What was it? Uh, Doctor Doolittle. What was it? <laughs> I forget what it was. Yeah, I remember that one. <laughs> Dude, my favorite joke in this. Um, I don't know if you guys caught it at all, but hmm. uh, it was in the very, very beginning. Okay. Um, Which one? It's just whenever she was talking, it was when Beth was... T Beth? Was it when that we were turning on subtitles? 
Maybe. Listen to what she says in the very beginning. Okay. Jerry, can you watch the kids tonight? Someone playing Barry White over a racetrack speakers, and now there's a seven horse pregnancy. Oh. Uh, like, <laughs> the whole reasoning that she has to leave <laughs> is because someone played yeah. Barry White over this racetrack. Got the horses speakers, all hopped up. And all the horses started banging because <laughs> of Barry White. <laughs> like, that thing, like, after we were, we were going through, I'm like, wait, what'd she just say? Yeah. Very white horse speakers. <laughs> I really, I really thought we were getting into the ship was going to have sex and they were going to be inside of it when it happened. I thought maybe too. That didn't happen. I, I think that's it, what they were going to do, and then they were like, "Wait, that's too predictable." Yeah, like they, we just had sperm. Yeah, yeah. I didn't say that yeah. too. Yeah, we just had sperm and horses and all kinds of stuff. We don't need robots mating. Yeah, a lot of people really disliked last episode. Really? Apparently, yeah. Because it, it was too far. Too close to home. I guess, yeah. Too much sperm, I suppose. <laughs> Talking about abortion, right? Because they're like, yeah. no, it's a political year. Yeah. <laughs> when the presidents didn't want to kill the egg. The Rick and Morty fans are like, no, this is the wrong kind of ridiculous. Really? I want the right kind. <laughs> this was a fun kind of ridiculous. I really enjoyed the, uh, the way that these hell demons, like, d- casually enjoy cringe. Yeah. Like, it's not like what they really go for, but it's just like a little snack yeah. to pick up. It's like, it's something different, right? Yeah. It's, I, a, it's I, a break from the monotony of of all of the pain pleasure. I enjoy, uh, like, cringe humor, but I don't enjoy real cringe. Like, I really like The Office. And especially, there's some, there's some of us in The Office where I'm like, I can't even watch this, it's so cringy. But when it's like real people doing it, it's the same aversion I have when I, like, I know... There's a bonus about to be broken. Like, when I know, like, this is real. This is, like, a person, like, up in front of their, like, Ooh. high school stage. Yeah. Just, but, like, knowing that's going to happen, I'm like, oh, fuck, no, no, I don't want to watch it. But it does give you that weird feeling whenever it does happen. I don't know. What's your relationship to cringe? I think I'm, I might be the same. Yeah? For the most part. Like, there's definitely some real cringe that is just hilarious. Yeah. Like... I like when, like, confident people make fools of themselves. That's fun. Yeah. And I like the clip of that one girl who got the wrong, um, like, confetti popper. Yeah. For that's, the... That's fun. For the, uh, the gender announcement party. Yeah. Was it purple? No. Was it pepper? It, it was, it was <laughs> blue instead of pink, or it was pink instead of blue. Oh, it was just literally the wrong color. Yeah, it was okay. just the wrong... It was like something else. Like it just yeah. shot out like mm-hmm. something weird. It's like, oh shit, I got the wrong one. <laughs> That's pepper. <laughs> you know, I don't know. What that would be terrible. Did you like doing this? I just I thought of pepper grinders. Oh, weaponize those. But they have pepper spray. Well, those parties have burned down entire forests, so it's kind of already happened. <laughs> <laughs> and there's the cringe. I'm trying to think of cringe thing. I don't usually. I don't feel like I usually watch cringe things. Not too often. Though there has been sometimes like. Even sometimes in like TV shows, when somebody happens, like, no, what is this guy doing? Yeah. I'm like, why? Yeah. You ever like think back on something you did as a kid and you're like, oh, but what the fuck was I doing? You know, someone's still thinking about that. Every minute of every day. <laughs> <laughs> hey, luckily, that was just your family for most yeah. of your time, right? You didn't have like a. You would have had less time of like going to like school or high school or whatever, where it's like, oh shit, I can't believe I wore this. Yeah, but I the did problem that, is. Or whatever. Every interaction with another human mm. was probably cringe and at some point in my life I'm going to replay that memory and realize that that was extremely cringe mm. and then yeah you won't think about that now do. you seem to have no shame like I feel like the older I get the less shame I have so I just I just don't feel embarrassed anymore thus I can't like I can't feel cringe for myself just have no shame Calvin <laughs> Doesn't work. I really like the uh, the little Cenobite demon guys and stuff, and like the play on. If you guys have ever seen Hellraiser, like a lot of their like characters they have are like sure. just weird demon things with something yeah. like here's a quirk on this one. That's mm-hmm. the basis of it. So like Pinhead has pins in Pinhead's his head. Pinhead's the only one I know. He's got that. There's sure. a guy who's like the one guy who got turned into a demon was like a cameraman. So like his camera got like implanted into his head. Huh. He could like zoom in and shit with it. I never really... So, Pinhead, like, if I took, like, a shovel, turned it upside down, and hit him, would he die? No, he's Because his de- pins would go further into his head? He's a demon. So he doesn't... He can't be killed? Not really, no. He just feels like a hazard. Demon. Like, what if he trips? He's like, oh, no! Well, he, 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 he also, like, 
pulls them out and does shit with them and stuff too. Uh, and yeah, he's not very like cool. a toots like Illumi. Hmm. He's real. It's really weird. I've seen a few of them, but there's a lot more Hellraiser movies than. Gotcha. I think I've seen the first three. Okay. They are Clive Barker, I believe. Hmm. Tight. I did those. Tight, tight. Extremely tight. That's cringe. No shame though. Um, so what do you guys think of Bruce Chutback? He, I mean. Chut pants? What was it? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Chut pants. The, those kids making fun of that kid was cringe. <laughs> like, I was like, what the hell? What kind of name is this? Doesn't even match. I mean, he's poor, he has no pants. I mean, just <laughs> Whatever. like cringe in general, it's you assigning meaning and value to something else, you know? Bruce didn't know, like, he just kind of sat there lack, you know, slack jaw in half the time. Sure. There was yeah. a couple times where he actually seemed like he was genuinely smiling, but most of the time it's them projecting onto him. Poor kid. He should have just been like, no, I own like three pairs of these pants. Dude, I wear like the same pants three weeks in a row. Yeah. Yeah. We, we know, Eric. Absolutely. Don't Calvin. think you, I know you guys don't. Calvin knows too. I do too. I do too? Yeah. I wear pants for a long time. Long time. Until I get like, like, I do smell them occasionally. <laughs> That's what the Febreze is for, man. Wait, wait, wait. I, I test smell them. I, I don't. I sniff them. He means he does a sniff I don't test. mean like yeah. it does. It's not wafting up in my face right now. Okay, like I was like when I smell them occasionally. Do you mean like sometimes when I'm sitting there, every once in a while I get a whiff and I'm like, yeah, oh man, I smell my pants. Or do you mean like before I put them on, you're like, no, yeah, I, I give them a test sniff. Do you have They're like still okay? No major stains or anything. So uh, well, I mean, if you're gonna do that though, like where do you sniff them? Because like the knee is probably not gonna smell as bad as other locations. But, it depends where you kneel, but. The butt. I sniff at the butt. So if the butt smells bad, you know it's yeah. it's just long enough. Butt and the balls. That takes about three weeks. I mean, I'm extremely. I mean, he clean. doesn't know yet. <laughs> <laughs> it just depends on what you're doing, but I mean, I at least go two or three days without, or two or three wears without washing them. If you have good, high quality dim- denim, wash them too much is not great. Wears them out. Yeah. Yeah, but some people pay for that. Well, those people are weird and never did a hard day's work, Aaron. Cringe. You can't assume no, I can't that. Say I had those pants not because I bought them as a style, but yeah. because I wore them out. Yeah. From working. Yeah. I mean, that type of pants, you're like that. You didn't want to wear. At least when I was in school, you didn't want to wear those at school. You wanted to wear your nice pair. Sure. That was the stuff you changed into when you got home. And then sometime, like in what, ninety five, ninety six, you started seeing like. Oh no, it's cool to have these. I need find. I don't know, Eric. I was fucking five or six years old. Yeah. Well. What are you talking about? You would have been like seven or eight. I mean, I'm sure it was in fashion before then too. I wasn't looking at fashion when I was six years old. No, I'm just yeah, but you don't want to get made fun of. I mean, when I, when I was a kid, at like when six? I was yeah. Oh my God, people make fun of you at six. I had a bully. Well, sure. When I was in but... kindergarten. He was in sixth grade. He was making fun of him because I was wearing a red shirt, red sweatpants, I had bright blonde hair, and my face was super red at recess. And he made fun of me for being red. You know what I did? Slammed his head in the monkey bars. And he cried and went to Mr. Larrabee. Mr. Larrabee came over and said, what happened? I told him and Mr. Larrabee slapped him with the glove. <laughs> as he was wont to do. <laughs> Why did you slam him with the glove? Because he's making fun of a six-year-old. <laughs> oh. did, I think, he, did you challenge him to a duel? <laughs> no. He just did that. that was, it, back then, they didn't oh, give a shit. He had leather gloves. Man. He would slap kids with them. Sounds like too much red. I think the six year old was the sixth grader was in the right. He was. <laughs> he wasn't even six years old. He was yeah. like <laughs> ten. I, I resorted to violence. <laughs> and one. I beat the system, I guess. You beat up a you know, kid who was like saying, people make fun six, six years older than you. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Just don't wear that much red. I didn't know. It matched. Okay. You yeah, as a kid, like you don't it know matched. all the rules. Yeah, but you don't give you, a show when you're a kid. You hear like, oh yeah, this this outfit like it goes well together. It's like, what goes well together? Well, like colors go together in the wash, so surely they must go together on my body. Red was one of our school colors, (laughs) so it made sense. You were just the mascot. I was. (laughs) You were the cadet. (laughs) We were the the cardinals then. Oh, yeah. Yeah. (laughs) It's a state bird, Calvin. Have some respect. (laughs) Nobody cares about the state bird. Yeah. Cardinals also the state bird for like 15 states. Exactly. Oh, What's the Wait, point? Wait, what? Yeah, no. the Cardinals are state bird for so many states. It doesn't. It, it's less special. That sounds yeah. Sounds like 
Yeah. Yeah. It's better than the one that has like their state bird is like a plastic flamingo, but I guess it's different. Is that really a thing? No, it's more like a city. Oh, yeah. Where the okay. plastic flamingo is their invented, official bird. They're like official bird for the city. Yeah, is the that's plastic right. flamingo. Yeah. I learned this from Flamingo Day, June twenty third. It's true. Your anniversary. <laughs> right? Of being married. I saw, I saw you uh, this weekend. Uh, Pokemon Go uh, had community. Go community fest. Day, but Go fest. I drove by, and Aaron was at the gazebo with his wife and his four kids. And I, I sat there and I looked. I was like, "Huh." I remember when they got married there, and look at the family they made. They're still there in that gazebo. That's nice. <laughs> 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 oh man. Okay. Um, I uh, my favorite joke I think was the. Uh, Rick hologram. No, uh, uh. So I immediately went to Dennis. Uh, uh, uh. Yeah, from Jurassic Park. Dennis and Nedry. That yeah. was definitely. I just watched Jurassic Park. Yeah, I like that one. I like his occult box. I didn't realize what it was initially. Like yeah. when it was happening, I thought it was more. I don't know. Like the occult. I wasn't expecting them to like do some Hellraiser Cenobite stuff. No. Yeah. Like I was expecting more of like books and. Some things of like of the occult, not just like we're gonna summon some demons. Sure, yeah. Well, there's a book there, and there's a, a skull with a red candle on it. That's kind of yeah, I know. But what, the, what I don't know what the hell that right thing is. It's like a. It reminds me of a demonic. What is it? Metronome. Those things are like. Oh yeah. What time code are we at? Just so you can pull it up. The very beginning. Where Seven seconds. It reminds me of like a Zelda villain. A Zelda villain. They often have eyes, and that's where you shoot the arrow. Well, yeah, and they're usually, like, those kind of eyes, too, yeah. right? Like, they're mm-hmm. big. It's like a giant, um, oh, shoot. I think it's called an inse- incense cone. Incense. Incest cone? Like that. Incense cone. I almost said incest. Giant it's... incest cone. <laughs> <laughs> we know what you voted for last bowl. Uh, yeah, uh, what else did we have? I think that's about it. We had to change yeah. formers. Yeah. The doorknob um, is a virgin, not mine, is a funny joke, too. I like that. What yeah. was that? Allison Hannigan, no relation. What was that about? I they just know. wanted to use her name, but they didn't want to actually have Allison I Hannigan? Guess. Maybe they, they tried to cast her and she wasn't interested. Yeah. I was like, why'd they use Allison Hannigan's name? <laughs> and then they just, the ship just shoved it. Allison Hannigan. A thing what into her name? and just walked around. If that's what I think it is. Um, is she not uh, How Much Mother? No, that's and Allison Taylor? Brie. No, that's not. Wait, no, that's the wrong Allison. Yeah, but it, yeah, it is. Yeah, yeah. Bandcamp, right? Yes. Yeah. That and Penn and Teller. She was like the host of that. Yeah. Uh, the Fool, Fool Us. Us. Yep. Love that show. Yes. So. I'm much more confident that that person <laughs> is Allison Hannigan than Allison Brie. Yeah. Allison Brie's like a porn star, right? Huh? No. Yeah, I think so. Yeah. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, I did like the uh, that one thing that the ship went after. De- definitely like a pod racer. It did. Yeah, yeah. I like that. Um, I was like, it's a pod racer, and then it was like, it's a butt. <laughs> that was Eric's response to it. <laughs> it's a butt, and then it blew Pretty up. Like, oh, the what? face was a butt. It was a pod racer. Yeah. Uh, they also had Galactus and. There's a lot of little references in here that I quite liked. Sure. The change formity. Why? What was it? Robot Tahoe? Yeah. yeah. Space Tahoe. Space Tahoe. Why space? Is it supposed to be like a car thing? Right? I don't know. Tahoe is a car. Oh, is it not? Right? I thought it was like a city. Like Space Vegas. Space Tahoe. I'm sure it is, but isn't there also a Tahoe car? That's what I was thinking of first. There is. It's a GMC Tahoe. Yeah. It's a full size luxury SUV. I don't know where Tahoe is. God, where's Tahoe? Uh, Utah? Ta- Tahoe, Look it up. Utah? You're right. No, I don't know. Tahoe, right, Utah? Because it sounded similar. Let's do it. Is there a Tahoe, Utah? Tahoe. I'm going to open up Q&As while you do that. I just want to know where Tahoe is. Lake Tahoe. Oh, that sounds yeah. like a thing. Lake Tahoe, is that U- Utah? Is that in Utah? Sounds like a porn name. Where's Lake Tahoe? What's with you and porn stars today? Today? <laughs> Where's Lake Tahoe? Lake Tahoe, Michigan. Is that right? Uh, there could be. Damn it, Calvin. What are you looking up? <laughs> Find some information, boy. Lake Tahoe, 
is in California and Nevada. Well, pick one. No, both. It's oh. it's on the border, <laughs> moron. <laughs> <laughs> that looks like California to me. No, there's water on both sides. Let's see. That dot is right on the middle. Yep. Lake Tahoe, Nevada. Lake Tahoe, California. Lake Tahoe, Michigan sounds good. Is there a Tahoe, Utah? Not that I could see. Damn it, Calvin. Well, we're going to go ahead and move on to Q&As. The first one is from Dr. Winchester, who says, Of all the things in this episode, why is the planet of sentient mailboxes the thing that confused me the most? Dude, I don't know. Yeah, I love that they all show back up at the end like, Get him! They just fucking <laughs> serve I immediately think of Stand By Me whenever I see mailboxes getting hit. Yeah. Yeah. I've never seen it. Neither have I. Oh. I love uh, that. Kiefer Sutherland is pinned to a toilet. Toilet paper? <laughs> yeah. Like toy boxes. Oh, toy boxes. <laughs> the, um, the thing that sucked was that Beth was the one hitting all the mailboxes. Yeah. That Chuck guy was just there. Yeah. So they all just came and got... That guy just had a terrible... Summer? Huh? Yes. Summer. Yeah, Summer, sorry. Summer was the one hitting the mailboxes. Yeah. And Chuck, yeah. Chuck was just going home after we made fun of him about his pants. And these mailboxes <laughs> just show up and just kick his ass. In this mailbox car, hitting him with mailbox flags. You know what it reminds me of? Like, there's this video of this guy. Like, I don't know what these guys in this car were doing, but there's four people in, like, a sedan car. And another car comes up besides, like, hey, fuck you guys. Like, they did something to him or something. And he turns to the guy in the back seat. He's like, fuck you, fatty. Because the guy in the back's kind of, like, fat. And then, like, all of his friends are laughing at him. And the guy takes off. And he's like, why was I targeted? You're driving. <laughs> it's really, it's hilarious. But he should not have gotten made fun of. But he did. He was just the closest, you know? Yeah. He was vulnerable. You say about that, makes me think of, there was, I don't know where it was, but there were these two guys, and I, I think they might have been, like, Indian, maybe? They had, like, a heavier accent, and they, they kept talking to each other, mm -hmm. mad about something. I don't know what even they were mad about. I think I And they were doing, about. like, these ridiculous, like, like, I think they had, like, more of a broken English kind of, like, like, English language, because they would, like, they just had these weird insults to each other that... I, I don't know, I was like, well, fuck you! And they, and they kept yelling, like, fuck you, and then just like, you... I don't know, they say whatever. You're a motherfucking like, bitch! They, yeah, they keep yeah. doing, fuck like... Fuck you, punk they bitch! They keep doing this back <laughs> and forth. The one guy's in the car, the one guy's outside the car. That's from Rush Hour, everyone. And then this one guy... Yeah, <laughs> no, that is, yeah. And then the one guy says, I have to go. He's like, okay, have a good day. <laughs> and I was yeah, like, yeah. what happened? <laughs> yeah, it's hilarious. Like, I don't know what they were fighting about initially. Then they just kept going at it yeah. for so long, and then they're like, all right, have a good day. Okay, and they, have a good day. Yeah, like. I'm like, what happened? Uh, the last one here, we don't have a lot of Q&As this week. Chief Chill says, uh, which member of the group would be the Jerry in the Beth, Rick, and Jerry situation? So, of Blonde Wave. Jerry. Who is... Is he the... Hmm. Well, my Jerry. The cringe he's jokes. More, he's more self-aware. jokes. Though. Yeah, but cringe is about the lack of self-awareness. Aaron knows what he's doing. And he always claims to have a wife that hates him. She loves him. Deep down. <laughs> hmm. Hmm. Self-awareness is the key, though. Aaron knows what he's doing. He does it on purpose. That's the most infuriating part. It's fun to be infuriating sometimes. Who's the least self-aware of the group? I'm not the most self-aware. You go home and start writing jokes. All right, yeah, you're right, sir. Rick is sometimes... <laughs> Rick sometimes has, like, lack of self-awareness. He does. He does. Like, sometimes you point out something he's doing, he's like, oh, oh. <laughs> that happens a lot. <laughs> it does. Uh, man, we need a poll for this week. The poll is, of the four members of Blind Wave, who is the most, oh, the least self-aware? What do you guys think? Let us know in the cut. I don't know if you want to be oh, that. I don't know. Mine was going to say, how long do you wear pants? Oh, let's do that one, too. Uh, guys, <laughs> poll for this week. Aaron is going to take it away. Aaron? We've had a discussion. We want to know, yeah. how long do you wear pants? This isn't about how long during the day and you take them off because you're home, yeah. you're going to sleep, you don't want to wear your pants. How do you reuse your pants yes. before washing? Yes, you, you went out, you worked today, and then you went home, and then you took off your pants, and then the next day you got up and you put on the same pants, or did you put on new pants? So let's so say, like, we okay, need like a little one time day. span, right? Yeah, like one wear. One, one day has to be one. One wear or just day? Day. We'll, we'll do one day. One day. We'll do one day. Uh, and then the next one's like two to three days. Yes. The next one is... Like a week? A week. Four to a week. Or should week. we go four to five and then a week and then two weeks? Because sure. I feel like the difference between one week and two weeks. No one's going like one week, two days, you know? Sure. Let's. Well, we'll have a few options in there up yeah. to... What's the max? A month. 
Still haven't. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, thank you very much for watching this episode of Rick and Morty with us. We hope you had a good time. And if you did have a good time, hit the subscribe button. If you had a bad time, hit the dislike button. If you had an okay time, just comment and be like, eh. That's it. Those are all you can check out. Those are all the options. Subscribe and the notification bell for more of this stuff, especially if you've had the good time. <laughs>